What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. Today we have another fire jump rope tutorial. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the switch cross. In two minutes, I guarantee you're gonna learn this move and you're gonna make sure you do it nice and slick as we always say on this channel. I have got a more in-depth video of this move about three years ago, but we're reloading it because I've discovered a way of teaching it even quicker and even better for you guys at home. If you don't know by now, hit the subscribe button, guys. We are the hottest fitness community growing across the world today and we're backed up by the number one jump ropes on the internet. So yeah, use Rush 10 for 10% discount right now. Cop yourself some super fire merch and get your cardio game jump started, people. So if you're not sure what a switch cross is, guys, think of it as this, right? Let's say this is your basic kind of crossover, the one that you, you will always know, you'll see boxers doing it. Um, this switch cross move is basically two crosses with your arms kind of going on top of each other. So if my left arm goes on top, mid revolution, then my right arm will go on top, right? This, the slow motions will kind of explain what's going on here. But you wanna get used to this kind of action where in mid revolution, you're able to have, be in a cross position, uncross your arms and quickly cross it before the rope comes back around. So so what you want to try and practice is a couple of things. Practice, obviously, your crossovers from the strong side. So for me, my left arm's always on top, so it's my left arm here. That's always on top for me, right? That's the one that kind of feels comfortable for me. But now you want to learn to get your weaker arm on top, okay? So here you go, right arm now going on top. And for me, because I practice this quite a bit, you can kind of make sure that now you're super, super tight and sharp on both sides. The next step, guys, is you wanna learn this three-step method. This is what's gonna really unlock this move. What's gonna happen here, I'm gonna show you close up, is you're gonna do your normal crossover, which is the, from the good side, naturally works best. So you start with your good side first. And what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna let this rope do this. This simple action, and you're just gonna watch what happens to the rope as you uncross your hands. So here, and then just uncross your hands. Just be really loose with this. You're not trying to jump over the rope, you're just gonna cross, get over the rope, and then just watch your hands kind of fold apart, right? So here you go, here, and let your hands loosely fold away, right? Then, this is the super key bit, okay? We're now gonna make sure that you guys can cross over with the opposite arm in time before this rope comes back around, so you can then jump it, all right? So it's, it's complex to kind of describe it, if that makes sense, but visually, you'll understand what's happening. So cross, let the arms fold away, and I'm just gonna get you to practice trying to catch this rope now by letting your arms fold away and then going over with your weaker arm, right? At this point, it shouldn't be so much weaker, it should feel natural, right? So it's cross and then catch it after you do this first cross, right? Practice that one more time here and then quickly get this crossed and then catch it under your feet. I know it's a quick two minute tutorial, guys, but I cannot stress enough your hand positioning mixed with your timing, right? It's everything that is obviously great about skipping is all about the balance, all about the coordination, the timing. But with this one, it has to be super, super on point. The last thing that we need to mention is how your wrists kind of work, right? So you've got this first cross happening. You let your arms sort of fold away whilst it's in the midair. And as you come to now crossing again, you need to make sure that these wrists work quick in the sense that you can get that cross done but you also need to make sure that you kind of pronate them behind you, okay? So you kind of feel this wrist flexion motion where you kind of get a little whip, right? You don't want to do this like static hands like this. You want to make sure it's here, soft, uncross, and then quickly this kind of action, right? This little flexion in the wrist, guys, is super important for this move, right? Not only will it keep the rope moving around you quickly, right? It will also allow you to get a big enough cross so it kind of, just flows better because the last thing you want is when you're doing this move you just don't want shaky looking loops right you don't want loops that are difficult to kind of jump through you don't want loops that are kind of yeah making it look a little bit awkward so that all comes with the wrist so if you can get your wrist to kind of do this kind of flexion it will make sure that you always cross beside your torso which means again you can jump through this route, uh, loops but also you can continue the speed of the action of the whole move so you're not trying to stress it with your arms. We're gonna do something cool. We're gonna do the double under switch cross. So leave me a comment down below 
If you're ready to see that tutorial, that is gonna be an absolute banger. I'll show you a little taster right now. So leave me a comment right now, peeps, if this is what you wanna see in the upcoming tutorials. Double under switch cross, guys. Epic move. I mean, if you do it smooth enough, you won't even realize you've done it. That's coming up. If you want, drop me a comment. And as always, big, big, big thank you for every single one of you who has supported in our latest Nova Rope launch. It went live last Friday for pre-order. Head down to the website, use Rush 10, 10% 10 discount on our latest drop. This rope is absolutely phenomenal, as is all our ropes, guys. And every single one of you out there supporting is helping the dream stay alive. A lot more fire coming up, so hit the subscribe button, drop a like for this video. And yeah, hopefully you got a ton of value. As always, I'm knackered, I'm gonna go. So guys, without further ado, I'll check you in the next video. So take care of yourself, let's get the treadmill, stay safe, peace. <laughs> Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Would put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.